We are in a very risky, very volatile business. It's not an easy business to be in. We do it because we love it. I graduated from the University of Maryland at College Park and then in 2002 I came out to North Dakota State University and got my master's in animal science there. I did work seven years for North Dakota Farm Bureau. I don't say that I quit, I say that I retired <laughs> because I really loved that position so much. But I have a really important role here and I, and I recognize that everything has a season and our farm is growing and uh, I'm needed here. I am very happy with my choice to be here and take on a more active role in the farm. I think the general public has that tendency to not see us as professionals because maybe we're not in suits and ties every day. But my husband has one of the most technologically advanced mobile offices right now in our combine going around the clock. I'm really active as a co-owner and as a partner. I'm just not physically in the field as much as I used to be. I do more of our public relations and in the last year, in fact, we've had over 200 guests from over 10 countries. I think it's really important for people to understand where their food and fiber and fuel comes from because they're products that people use in every aspect of their life. We're producing something that is so important and so necessary for society to survive. There's an incredible uniqueness to each farm. We're really each as individual as a thumbprint. And it's so important to understand and appreciate that, whether that's in ag policy or whether that's in labeling issues or even your, your grocery store aisle choices. With our children being the fifth generation, we hope it continues for at least five more generations to come and that we can uh, you know, leave them a really good foundation to continue to build the business on.